Understanding a software system just by looking at its source code can be very time consuming. And communicating ideas about software design or business processes is even harder if there is no commonly accepted way to do it. The Unified Modeling Language, in short UML, was introduced to solve this problem. UML is not a textual programming language, but rather a graphical notation. A set of diagrams that help in designing and communicating software systems. We can use these diagrams to describe the objects that form a system and their interactions. UML has many diagram types. We'll be discussing the most common ones. The use case diagram describes the functional model of a system. That is, the functionality of a system from the user's point of view. To describe the structure of a system, UML provides structural diagrams. We'll talk about the class diagram, which can be used to describe a system in terms of objects, attributes, operations and relations. Last but not least, UML lets us model dynamic behavior too. Behavioral diagrams describe the functionality of the system focusing on what happens and the interactions between objects. We'll talk about the actual diagrams shortly. The best part about UML is that it's independent of any particular programming language. But we can start coding an object-oriented software based on UML diagrams. And if those diagrams are detailed enough, they can be converted to source code. Now, let's see some ways of using UML in real life. We can quickly draw a diagram to sketch a specific part of a software or a new functionality. I've done that myself on numerous occasions. Whenever something was unclear, I started to sketch UML diagrams before writing a single line of code. The benefit was that I not only understood what I should implement, but I also had a design. A documentation that could be used to communicate my ideas with other team members. Another frequent use of UML is drawing diagrams from existing code. This technique is called reverse engineering and it helps to understand and document a system. We can also use UML to create the detailed blueprint of a system. While sketches focus only on essential aspects of a system, the blueprint is about completeness. Detailed UML blueprints are usually required for software developed using a waterfall approach, and less frequently for agile projects. You can use UML diagrams to describe any system that's developed using an object-oriented programming language. UML has become so popular that it's also used for non-object-oriented projects.